We give you all the glory and honor. Thank you for the word all day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Put those blessed hands together. Hallelujah. To the Lamb of God. Go with me to the book of Acts. The book of Acts chapter 1. Hallelujah. The book of Acts chapter 1. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. We thank God for Pastor Kinder of blessing us through God to use us in the ministry for our gifts and talents. We thank God tonight for the word and thank God that the word is transforming our lives. Acts 1 and 5. The word says, For John truly baptized with water, but you shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost not many days hence. Look at 7 and 8. And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father had put in his own power, but ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come up on you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Tell your neighbor on tonight, say, neighbor, thank God for the part you know. And it takes the Holy Ghost. Thank God for the part that you know, and it takes the Holy Ghost. What are you saying on tonight? Before I even get into this part of it that I want to tell you about in the gospel, I thank God tonight the Holy Ghost is a gift from God to be able to speak in tongues also. It is a gift granted by God who puts his extra on our ordinary to manifest his extraordinary. He takes his super minister and he puts his super on our natural to perform miracles, signs, and wonders. It's things that we would not normally be able to accomplish in ministry or in the kingdom of God. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, thank God for the part that you know. It takes the Holy Ghost. Only the Holy Ghost, which is our comforter, can lead God and direct us into all truth through the word that we have down on the inside. What is truth? Truth is God's gospel, which is unfolded and revealed as he see will. How we handle the Holy Ghost is very crucial and is very important. Matter of factly, we cannot handle the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost handles us. Tell your neighbor on tonight, say, neighbor, thank God for the part that you know it takes the Holy Ghost. See, Pastor kind of always says, Sister Cornita, we're not smart enough to know anything. Yeah, we educated and don't went to school and got degrees on top of agrees and on top of other degrees. But we're not smart enough to know anything without the Holy Spirit lead, guiding, and directing us. The Holy Ghost will let us know some things. He'll let you know a lot of things, but I can't name them all tonight. But I got a few things that he'll let you know but not all things. So the first one he'll let us know about is our comforter, which is in the book of John, John 14 and 16. You remember when Jesus left and the comforter came back into the earth ministers, all this hell, pastor, all this chaos, all these difficult times, all these trials, all these tests, all these tribulations, all these temptations, and these transgressions that be in our lives, God has back a comforter to comfort us in these times. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, let's look at the word. Pastor say, put the word on it. John 14 and 16 tells us, and I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever, which is the Holy Ghost, our comforter. He's going to comfort us in a time that we weep. How many know that weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning? If you got the comforter on your side, you can't always stay down. See, a tire can go down, but it can be pumped back up. But you ain't going to always stay down. The enemy may come to put you 
you down, but you're going to stand right back up because you got the comforter, which is the Holy Ghost down on the inside. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor, the Holy Ghost will let you know that a man is born of a woman, a few days and full of trouble. And you remember God works in order, Minister Jennings. He don't work out of order. So we know when things are out of order. We can just line them up with the word. If it don't line up with the word, says Adam, it's out of order. It's not decent in order. If it's in order, it's going to line up with God's word. And I come to tell you tonight, God didn't let Harry get pregnant with Jesus. God let Mary get pregnant with Jesus because women can conceive. Man send the baby with his, his seed and his sperm with the woman, but a man cannot get pregnant. I don't care what they say. I don't care what the scientists say. I don't care what they come up with. God was decent and in order. He chose Mary and hallelujah, Lord God. Mary didn't know a man, but she knew the Holy Ghost because he came up on her and she conceived Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. And you know what tonight, saints? The only way you're going to see the Father is through the Son, which is Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. Tell your neighbor, a neighbor. It takes the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, Lord. We thank you tonight. Thank God for the part we know. And before I go on to the death part, I come to tell you on tonight, Pastor kind of got all the fivefold ministry up on his life, up on this ministry done. If he said in the word, you better believe it in the word. I tell the Lord on tonight, I thank God for knowing this man of God. The man of God not only has helped me be the woman of God I am, but the Holy Ghost has helped both of us be the apostles pastor, evangelist, pastor, teachers that we are in the body of Christ. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, run on and see that the end is already won. I'm not talking about something they told me. I'm talking about what God has showed us. Put your hands together for the Lord on tonight. He'll give us the comforter. He'll let us know that a man is born of a woman a few days and full of trouble. And then he tells us about death. See, God not going to let everybody see death, Reverend. God will reveal death unto us for what's on our lives, the, the gift, the talent, the calling. You can never discredit what God reveals to the next man or woman because he did not reveal it unto you because you might not have that gift. You might not walk in that office, but it's nothing to be jealous of. It's nothing to be afraid. Afraid of. A lot of people are afraid to read Revelation. Guess what? If they're afraid, you must don't have no Holy Ghost. Huh? Go back and check your Holy Ghost. Who's going to be afraid to read the Bible? That's going to give you wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. That's going to empower you to do things that you've never done. Going to give you a vision. Going to give you dreams. Going to give you a prophecy. Going to give you desires of your heart. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, it must be the Holy Ghost. Let's talk about death just a little bit. What you're saying, preacher? The Bible tells us in 2 Corinthians 5 and 8, he says in the word, we are confident, I say, and willing rather to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord. He shows some of us prophetically dates and times and signs about death. Then the word tells you to be absent from the body means to be present before the Lord. So he's revealed that to everybody, letting us know on tonight that one day we're going to leave here. We're just, journey, we're just pilgrims passing through on this journey. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, it takes the Holy Ghost. Thank God for the part, you know, because the word tells us in the New Testament, he's not going to let us know everything. He let us know in part. He let, if he let us know everything, Keisha, some of us will be running down Hickory Hill. Uh, some of us will be running across the bridge. Uh, if God revealed everything at one time, uh, our minds cannot handle everything that God is trying to show us. Uh, he shows us like in a spiritual maze. Uh, he shows us like a piece of a puzzle. He don't reveal all of it at one time. I don't care if you're in the first grade. I don't care if you're in the 12th grade. God is going to reveal his will according to what you can bear and according to what you can handle in the Holy Ghost. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, it takes the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We're going to leave here one day, y'all. Put your hands together for Jesus on tonight. Sister Princess, you was all over this word. So we have Jesus. We can trust Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord God. We have Jesus minister and we can trust Jesus. But what I want to let you know tonight, we can have trust issues with each other, but never have trust issues with Jesus. 
He's never failed us. He's never turned his back on us. We never had to doubt what he say. He may not put it all together where we can understand it, but we got to trust and believe him anyway. Uh, when the rain is coming down and there's a storm, uh, and it looks like the storm is not going to end, uh, all you got to do uh, is keep on driving, uh, keep on walking, uh, keep calling on the name of the Lord. Because uh, one day uh, that storm is going to come to an end. Uh, and I hear the Holy Ghost say, tell him tonight, uh, peace be still. Uh, if he spoke to the storm on the boat back then, uh, don't you know that the God can speak uh, to your situation tonight? Uh, you got a right to praise him. Uh, they don't know what you've been through. Uh, they don't know what you came out of. Uh, they don't know you was about to give up. Uh, but you looked up uh, and the Holy Ghost spoke up uh, and said, look to the hill. Uh, for which coming all our help. Uh, all of our help uh, coming from the Lord. Uh, I said earlier, weeping may endure for a night. Uh, but how many know joy coming in the morning? Uh, I told you some months back. Uh, I don't know your toy, uh, but I know my toy and I lack some joy. Uh, I told God, uh, cause I'm an honest servant. Uh, I said some things in my heart uh, that you might not like for me, God. Uh, but there's some things in there uh, that I like myself uh, that may not be pleasing unto you. Uh, but if there be a Holy Ghost, uh, clean me up, Lord God. Uh, turn me around, God. Uh, place my feet uh, on the solid ground. Uh, and I thank the Lord uh, for being real, uh, cause you can be real uh, with the Holy Ghost. Uh, he'll never go off from you. Uh, he'll never put you out. Uh, he'll never put you down. Uh, he'll never cuss you out. Uh, he'll never cut you off. Uh, nothing but the Holy Ghost. Uh, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Uh, tell your neighbors to neighbor, thank God for the part that you know. Pastor told us this morning uh, to see God in everything. Uh, whether I understand it or not, uh, I'm looking for Jesus. Uh, whether I understand it or not, uh, I'm looking for the promises. Uh, whether I understand it or not, uh, I'm looking for the word. Uh, it may be raining out here, uh, but the Holy Ghost uh, is raining in here. Uh, tell your neighbor, some neighbor, uh, you got a right uh, to praise him. Uh, you got a right uh, to call on the Lord. Uh, they don't know where you came from. Uh, but I sure know where we're trying to go. Uh, we're trying to go forward uh, in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, Lord God. Uh, tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, I thank him, Pastor, for the part I know. Uh, he gave me a gift uh, as a prophetess. Uh, but he didn't tell me everything. Uh, he didn't tell me uh, it was going to be tough sometime. Uh, he didn't tell me uh, they were going to talk about you all the time. Uh, he didn't tell me your own family will mistreat you because you don't fit in. I don't have to fit in where I get in. The Holy Ghost is already in. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, I don't have to fit. So I must have quit because I don't have to fit. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We don't fit decently in order. But if it's out of order, I don't want to fit. I never thought I had to fit. Don't need to fit. Not worry about fitting. I don't fit what you want me to fit. Uh, but the Holy Ghost is fit. Uh, the fight was fixed uh, from the beginning, I tell you. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, we got to trust God. I heard my pastor say uh, when I was praying this evening, Sister Adam, uh, I said, I don't know what to tell these folks tonight. Uh, I'm getting sleepy. Uh, I want to take a nap. Uh, but it come to me in the last hour. Uh, thank God for the part you know. Uh, it must be the Holy Ghost. Uh, he tells us in Proverbs uh, to trust in the Lord uh, with all thine heart. Uh, lean not to thine own understanding. Uh, I don't care if it's good, bad, or ugly. Uh, I want God to be in it. Uh, I always tell you, uh, as long as God is in it, uh, we win it. Uh, we are victorious in Christ Jesus. Uh, when it don't look good, uh, I want you to trust the Holy Ghost. Uh, when it don't feel good, uh, I want you to trust uh, the Holy Ghost. Uh, I'll let you down. Uh, they'll let you down. Uh, but the Holy Ghost uh, will never let you down. Uh, when he sure boots, uh, he shows out. Uh, he fixed the fight. Uh, so it was already finished uh, from the beginning. Uh, tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, 
thank God for the part that you know. Uh, it must be the Holy Ghost. Uh, we got to trust in the Holy Ghost. Uh, I heard the saints talking, uh, and I like when my daddy do what he does. Uh, he sent me a sign. Uh, you must talk and commune and fellowship uh, with your father. Uh, he want to come in uh, and sup with you. Uh, he want to come in uh, and have a little dinner with you. Uh, he want to come in uh, and hear all your stories. Uh, he want to come in uh, and say, oh, my child, uh, lift up your head. Uh, look to the hill. Uh, I like looking to the 400 hill. I like looking to the spiritual hill. I like looking to the hill called Calvary. I like looking at those hills. And I like Felicia little shoes in the hills. And Felicia and Keisha, even though they're not here tonight, Sister Keisha is. Hallelujah. Those are natural hills. Minister Jennings hills and Minister Wade hills and Minister Amber and Sister Adams. And Sister Dawn, they can wear them heels. Huh? And I ain't gonna forget about Tosha huh? twisting in them heels. Huh? But I got on my wedges. Huh? But I got the Holy Ghost huh? with these wedges on. Huh? Hallelujah, Lord God. Huh? This woman of God can wear what she wanna huh? when she get ready to wear it. Huh? Cause she got the Holy Ghost. Huh? It don't have to have no name on it. Huh? As long as I got the Holy Ghost, huh? he'll put the name on it. I'm not knocking polo now. I like polo. I like the smell. I like the, the colors. All that now. Don't get it twisted. But the name don't make me. The Holy Ghost made me. Hallelujah. You got to trust in God. You got to talk and commune and fellowship with him. And you got to keep on trying the word of God in Isaiah 55. He says, so shall my word they go forth out of my mouth. It shall not be returned unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. Wherever God sends his word, it's going to complete it, and he's going to prosper you. He's not going to prosper me the same way he prospered him, but he's going to prosper both of us, iron sharpens iron, and so that the captains of a friend He's going to prosper us. So what my vows are and what I pray, we're not saying the same thing. It's nothing bad. As long as he don't take away his Holy Ghost, Reverend, and take away his spirit and his power and his anointing to be able to perfect, edify the saints, it does not matter. I could be on my sick bed, and if God let me speak, I'm going to lead him to the Holy Ghost. Tell your neighbor on tonight, say, neighbor, Thank God for the part that you know. Hallelujah, Lord God. If it wasn't for the Holy Ghost, Sister Adams, you would have never met Pastor Kiner. You would have never had $200 in the bank. You would never had the 200 Reverend, to give the other minister or pastor half of that money. But because of who the Holy Ghost is, he's dynamic. He performed miracles, signs, and wonders. And as you said this morning, he multiplied that thing more than a thousandfold over these years. Put your hands together for the Lord. If you know it's God using you and blessing you and keeping you, he put his super on our natural and his extra on our ordinary to make us extraordinary. And if God allows us to get sick, he can heal us. If God allows us to be broke, he can bless us and make us prosperous. If God allows us to be sad, he can give us the fruit of the spirit called joy, which will make you glad. Put your hands together for the Holy Ghost on tonight. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, thank God for the part that you know. It must be the Holy Ghost. You can stand on your feet tonight. 